Wait a second. All right. Maybe this is as good as we get. <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing. I've been doing the news for eight years now, and I still feel as nervous and as petrified as I was opening night. <laughs> of course, I'm perfect once I'm on. <laughs> right before I feel a little sick to my stomach. That's funny. I don't feel that way till after you're on the air. <laughs> Uncle Gustav goes back to Sweden. Oh, gee, I still haven't met him. Is he having a nice visit? Oh, yes. I think he's a little homesick, though. Last night when he was watching television, he started to cry during the Volvo commercial. <laughs> Wondered why you put yourself through this agony week after week. Because I'm having a good time. <laughs> Thank you very much. I have a real lump in my throat. That's probably the cheese puff. <laughs> Dad, finish the school song. <laughs> he wanted to run off enough so everyone could have their own copy. So I'd open the class with it, you know. Give an up-tempo feel of the proceedings. Okay. <clears throat> Listen, everybody. We have no gym and we have no pool, but we have heart at Ted Bax's famous broadcaster school. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not going through with this. Why, you? Because the whole idea is dumb and stupid and ridiculous, and I don't want to have anything to do with it. People. <laughs> the day when the news department can ride roughshod over the other shows is past. Sue Ann. Don't interrupt, dear. That program coordinator of yours has been doing promos for your news on my show. Your audio, Mary, over my video. Picture this, if you will, Mary. A tight close-up on my Bordelais sauce, simmering and succulent. While a voice says, sewer explodes, details at six. Those little snow bunnies. <clears throat> Mary, can you see them during the news? <laughs> Read it. 